next. It's an interim light heavyweight title fight between Dan Henderson and the ultra-popular Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz, making his way to the world-famous octagon. Ortiz comes in with a ton of world-class experience as the former long-time light heavyweight champion. He's a powerful wrestler, and he's probably going to look to take this fight to the ground and deliver some of his patented ground and pound. Tito Ortiz, fired up and ready to go. Set to enter the octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Dan Henderson has been fighting at the top level of this sport for years. He is an Olympic-level Greco-Roman wrestler and achieved what might be the most legendary accomplishment in this sport when he held the pride middleweight and welterweight titles at the same time. Dan Henderson, fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a submission fighter. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. He is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California. This man is a former welterweight, middleweight, and Grand Prix champion of pride. When the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times. Defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves. Go backwards. Do this. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Gentlemen. Ready? Tito Ortiz, Ready? Dan Henderson, and we are right. underway. What was it about Tito Ortiz, Ken Shamrock, that, that made it so entertaining to the fans? Well, one of the things was that it was a long time coming. Tito had fought Guy Metzger very early on in his career, and then fought Guy again later and beat Guy. And when he beat Guy, he gave Ken Shamrock the double fingers and started all sorts of animosity. It was a long time coming before Ken and Tito faced each other in the octagon. And when they did, it was very bad for Ken. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Beautiful head kick there. Wow, that right hand. Nice body kick. And now Henderson is cut, Joe. Both got staying in tight. He's hurt badly, he's down! I can't believe he got back to his feet, and he is hurt badly. Good strong. Body shot. And good right hand counter. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Joe, this building is electric. What a classic matchup. What an onslaught of attack here. Under two minutes remains. Working the clinch game. Oh, and again he goes. 
goes for a ride. And into full mount. Half guard. Just over a minute remains. And he gets reversed. Oh, those are vicious. Full guard. Passes to half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. Boom! Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Stopped. Nice combination. Nice punches. Our first round is in the books. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war, Joe. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. Heavy hands for me, all right? Heavy hands for me. Movements, pissing them off, okay? Keep moving, keep moving. We just gotta get a little more active with everything, okay? Keep that range. Wow. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. Some very impressive striking in that round, Mike. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We start round two. Let's fight. This fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. There you go, Again, the takedown is stuffed. Got the over under here. He's in full guard. Pushing his opponent away. And now he's answered. Getting in tight, using the clinch. Beautiful throw. Great Greco-Roman right there, Joe. Okay, moves into the mount here. Oh, he gets reversed. Great reversal. Watch for him to grab your leg. Inside the guard, posturing up. Side control. He's got half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Under three minutes now. And back to full guard. Looking to wall walk. Nice, nice. Nice right hand. Nice knee. Henderson has really opened up, Mike. That is a big cut. Oh, and the slam. Side control now. Under two minutes remains. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. In the half guard. He's in the full guard here. Side control again. Half guard. Follow up. Stay busy. Keep going. Oh, big left hook. Wow, good inside punches. And he answers. Swing and a miss. Oh, but he's got him back. Drives him back again. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. Oh, reversal. Pushes him off of the feet. We have completed two rounds. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Nothing, hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one big shot. Wait till he Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Very nice throw here. Beautiful technique. 
And here was that spectacular counterattack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang! And here was that slam. So much amazing technique in that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He caught the kick. And he dives on him with this punch when he's down. Very nice. Goes right into side control. Half guard. Oh, mount. Oh, man. Tito Ortiz is cut open bad now, Mike. Oh, he got reversed. He's got side control. He's got half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Oh. All right, so they're back on their feet. Nice job, double leg. He's in the guard. He's past nice. the half guard. Under oh, he gets reversed. He ate that one. Nice right hand. Good takedown defense. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Nice counter right hand. In the clinch. He's got over under here from the back. He's in full guard. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. He caught the leg. And he's got it. And he's down. Pushes him off with the feet. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. Forty-five seconds remains. And another takedown, and into side control. Into half guard. In the full mount. And now they're back to their feet. The cage right there worked against the takedown attempt. Oh, but he ain't a left hand. Left. And that takes us to the end of round number three. We head to the championship rounds. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. You want it? You want it? All right. Let me go. Let me go. Start the finish. Hey, you never against the cage. You turn him. I want you to lean and dig into the body. Take a couple of deep breaths. Look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches with him. Let's start hitting those legs. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Some beautiful counter fighting on display. Here we see a slip straight into a vicious counter strike. And here's that incredible throw. That is world-class technique right there. And here we see another solid counter after slipping the incoming shot. Nice action there, Mike. Got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. We are set for round four. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Ready for the start of Let's round fight. four. This fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. What an exchange here. Trying to find the range. Don't do anything sloppy. Big right hand. Big left hook. Just missed with that one. Nice double leg. Side control. Nicely done. Over under control. He's in guard here. Moves in a half guard here. 
He's in the full guard. Back to side control. Oh! Half guard. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. He takes him down again. Side control. Elbow. Mixing things up nicely. Half guard. Under two minutes remains. And he's got he's side, side control. control. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Pushing his opponent away. Both guys staying in tight. And now he's answered. He shoots in. Just over a minute remains. Oh, to the midsection. Oh, that right hand hurt him. Oh, head kick. Shin to the chin. Good night. We have a new UFC light heavyweight champion. Let's see it again. Man, he got some torque in those hips, didn't he, Joe? Yeah, that was just perfect technique, right in the perfect spot. And again, and here's the knockout blow. What a great job. Boom, and that's all she wrote. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the fourth round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World. is the new UFC Light Heavyweight Champion.